Hello, Resilience family. This Sunday, what is it, guys? May what? May 12th, 2024. I just wanted to chime in. It's Mother's Day, guys. Of course, I had to come and honor all the moms. I want to thank God for all the moms. Because if it wasn't for them, we wouldn't be here, guys. They chose to give us life, you know? And I'm grateful. I'm grateful. Whether your mom was there for you, um, whether she gave you up for adoption, um, whether she's not here, passed on, um, as my mom is, um, I want to thank God for all moms, for giving us life, for birthing us, to deciding uh, to keep us. And we're here. Um, it's a grateful thing. Um, whether your mom is your grandma, your aunt, a guardian, um, whomever that took care of you, stepmom, adopted mom, whomever, I just wanted to say thank you and give glory to God um, for giving you all the strength um, to be a parent. Um, or give you the strength um, to birth us um, and do what you think what was best for your situation at the time. Um, I also would like to chime in um, to all that mom isn't here. For some, it's a rough time. For some, you're learning how to move through your day, through life um, without having mom around. I just give my heart out to you. Um, because there are times where I wish my mom, even how crazy as my mom was, y'all, mm, I do wish she was here um, so I could talk to her, get a little bit of advice, um, hear what she has to say about a matter, you know, things that I'm going through with life um, to help out with the grandkids. So my heart goes out to you guys, but please know that everything happened for a reason. I want you all to remember Jeremiah 29, 11. God has a plan for us to prosper us, to bring good in our world. He knows what's best for us. So please remember that, remember that. I also have up here Proverbs 31. Because a mom I believe is virtuous regardless of the situation at hand at the time um, of giving birth to you. The meaning of virtuous says having or showing high moral standards. Regardless of what's happened in life, that woman has shown that by giving you life because you're here. So thank you. Thank you to all the moms Thank you to all that gave birth. Thank you for choosing life. Thank you. And I thank God for you. So family, my resilience family, give a little grace today and every day to yourself, to your mom, your guardians, whomever brought you in this world. Give a little grace. Thank God that you're here. Thank God for life and know that you have a purpose. Know that you have a purpose. Moms, thank you for your strength. Thank you for the courage, the advice you give, the warmth, the love you give. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for being you. I thank God for you. So happy Mother's Day, y'all. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Mother's Day. I hope you have a Mother's Day every day. Celebrate you. If it's not every day, at least once a week. <laughs> Seriously. Just some things that I'm learning. As you guys know, I'm walking this walk with you all. I do talk about things that I've learned, lessons I've learned and pushed through. But I'm also talking with you guys things that um, is happening in my life right now. 
um, things that God um, is working on me, God, things that he showed me, um, things he's downloading in me and teaching me. And I'm bringing it to you guys um, to walk this journey of life with you all, um, to let you know you're not alone. And I thank you. I thank you to my listeners, my viewers. Thank you to my subscribers. Please keep listening. Please keep chiming in. Send me your emails. Um, so I know. I want to hear your stories. I want to hear your comments, whether it's good or not. <laughs> But I thank you. I thank all moms. Thank you for being there. And again, thank you for choosing life. God bless you. And I pray that God keeps you, that he girds you, whatever your purpose is in this earth, that you're walking it out, <clears throat> or that you're figuring it out. And again, to all that's hurting right now, um, you're missing your loved one. God bless. I know that all things work together for the good. All things work together for the good. Push through that. Push through that grief. Heal again. And start celebrating that loved one. So happy Mother's Day. Have a blessed, blessed Sunday. Have a blessed week. And remember that you're worthy. Remember that you have purpose. And know that God is in control through everything. Thank you, family. And thank God for moms. Thank you for your guidance. Thank you for your endurance. Thank you for the discipline. <laughs> that one. Even when you probably didn't know. Thank you for guarding us. Thank you for being resilient. I encourage you guys to read Proverbs 31. To know what a virtuous woman is. So I decided to use technology today, guys, and I had my notes on my phone, but my phone done froze. Yeah, so I can't see my notes. And normally I write everything down, but this time, I just jotted it real quick in my phone. So I thank you all again just for being you. Thank you for being you. Thank you for chiming in. Thank you for listening. And it pops up. Hallelujah. <laughs> Technology, y'all. I don't know. Sometimes it's my friend, sometimes it's not. But Proverbs 31. A virtuous woman. She takes care of herself. She takes care of home. She's not afraid of getting her hands dirty. She works. She builds. She strengthens. She prays. She is a blessing to the home. It's a lot. I could go on and on and on with Proverbs 31. So be a little of Proverbs 31, women. Whether you're a mom or not, because you're probably an auntie, a good cousin, a good friend, good wife, sister. Stay resilient. And thank you. So have a blessed Sunday, family. A blessed week. A blessed month, you know. A blessed year. 
And again, I thank God for moms. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to all who have crossed my path and helped me. That's talked to me, giving me some advice. Thank you. Stay blessed, family. Stay well. And always, always stay resilient. I love you.